Hey all, so I'm gonna finless Bob here, by the way, and uh, pardon my videos. I'm not intended to do a nice editing job in these pro videos that you see on uh, Facebook. I don't care. I'm not gonna spend the time. I'm just gonna share my information. I'm gonna share what I've learned, and uh, hopefully it's helpful to someone. Anyway, I want to talk about batteries for the Quest 2 controllers, or for that matter, anything, your remote control, TV remote, or anything that uses um, uh, AA uh, dry cells. And by the way, I got to tell you, I hate dry cells. Let me tell you why. Now, notice this says alkaline. It's a dry cell. So this is the reason I hate them. You got to buy them. They wear out. You throw them away. They're not good for the landfill. They're not good... Uh, being thrown in the trash, they're simply not good. So why not, instead of spending your life buying these, and some of them can be cheap, um, I just hate them. I, I really hate them. So uh, I always buy rechargeables. So for a long time, I was buying nickel metal hydride, as you see, nickel metal hydride, or NICADs, rechargeable. But depending on your device, and in this case, I'm talking about the Quest 2, and the controllers, these are 1.2 volt. Uh, let me see if I can see this on here. The bottom line is they're 1.2 volt um, batteries. Now, I, in my experience using NICADs in the Quest, had tracking problems, plain and simple. I mean, 1.2 volts on a dry cell is like halfway dead. So I think 1.2 volt rechargeables NICADs or uh, nickel metal hydride are not good for your Quest. And by the way, um, could be not good for your remote or anything else you're using uh, AA batteries for. Um, and if you want to go rechargeable. So lately, I wouldn't say lately, it's been quite a few years now, um, they've come out with uh, lithium ions. Now, these are smart batteries, and the reason I want to say that is they're rechargeable. If you look, there's a port here to recharge them, and you usually get a a cable uh, to ch recharge them. It's USB. And uh, they also have a circuitry in there so you can't discharge them. If you discharge a lithium ion or a LiPo, whatever you want to, um, whatever they might be, uh, usually these are lithium ion for safety, not LiPo. Uh, if you discharge them too low, it damages the battery. So there's circuitry in here. There's a good chance that the battery is probably only this high and there's a circuit board in here. That I guarantee. Anyway, they're rechargeable through a little uh, micro USB port, and uh, they're 1.5 volts. So you know, uh, a uh, a lithium ion is like 3.4 volts. So for sure, there's circuitry in here dropping it down to 1.5. And I want to make that uh, a point. Different than nickel metal hydride and um, um, uh, NICADs. These are true 1.5 volt. And uh, I've been using them in my Quest now. I mean, I literally... So, a lot of people say, well, you don't need to have rechargeables because the Quest 2 uh, controllers last so long on dry cells. Yeah, they do. You're right. They do. Mine lasted a month, um, playing all the time. Uh, however, since I put a set of these in, I have yet to re have to recharge these yet. So, I've got... Um, when I bought mine, I bought them in a pack of four. And again, I use these everywhere. Remotes for TVs, everything. So, and a quickie little simple charger uh, that comes with it. Um, I will post the link on where I bought these uh, below, but you can buy them anywhere and you don't have to buy this brand. So I'm not pushing the brand. I'm not pushing anything. But one thing I will tell you is please note the capacity these uh, have gotten larger over the years, so you could buy some that could be 2200, 2400, 2800. Um, this latest buy that I did uh, were 3300. My previous buy about a year ago were 2800. So, um, you know, bang for your buck, but hey, if you can get some 2800s or whatever for a little cheaper, sure, go for it. What, what does it matter, right? They're rechargeable. So, uh, but I just went for highest capacity at the time. Uh, I think I paid 15 bucks for the charger, and it'll charge four. As you see, there's four, uh, and you plug it in USB, and they charge pretty quickly. 
Um, and I just went for this. It was the latest thing. I bought them on eBay, and I'll share the link below. Anyway, needless to say, my point of this video is do not use NICADs or nickel metal hydrides. They're 1.2 volt, and I had tracking issues. And because the voltage is low, I think the LEDs don't um, light up as bright. Um, and even at 1.2, my controller did not show 100%. If you go into the Oculus uh, screen, it showed like 80% with a brand new charge set of 1.2s. No good, no good, don't use them, please. If you want tracking problems, go ahead. If you've used them and you're not having tra tracking problems, hey, all good for you, don't care. I'm just showing you the best option. And again, I hate dry cells just because <laughs> I hate buying them all the time. I hate being out of them and having rechargeables is great. Anyway, so I put this in in January and I play pretty much three times, four times a week. I haven't even taken this out and recharged it yet. The beauty is you can, uh, if you turn it, you can get at the port and actually recharge it in the uh, device. But what I do is I keep two, put them in, take them out, recharge, put them in, then I've got them for storage. By the way, another beautiful thing, NICADs, if you charge them and you leave them sit for a while, they discharge, they lose, they start to discharge their capacity. Ions hardly ever do that. It, 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 you could put these in storage, fully charged, come back six months, and they'll be 99%. It's another beauty of them, unlike NICADs or nickel metal hydride. So anyway, um, it, again, down below in my video, you'll see the link where I bought them, but you can get them anywhere. You don't have to get this brand. You can get whatever you like. Make sure you get a charger for them. And uh, this is just, for me, the best thing since uh, sliced bread for not having to buy dry cells, fill a landfill full of uh, toxic materials, and uh, they last for like freaking ever. So um, as a matter of fact, I told you I put these in in January. Um, here we are in March, toward the end of March, and uh, I'm at 80%, I think, and I'm still not going to take them out. And by the way, another thing I'll talk about with lithium ions, cycling. Nickel metal hydrides and NICADs, they need to be cycled. You, you literally need to charge them and take them all the way down or take them down, charge them and take them down. If you keep them charged all the time and take them out and when they're 90% and charge them, this actually hurts the, that type of battery. It, it's called memory. Now, a lot of people say, oh, nickel metal hydride doesn't have memory. Yeah, well, my experience, RC helicopters and many other things, yeah, they do. And... Um, uh, just sitting around charged ain't good for them. These things freaking don't have any of those problems. And again, 15 bucks, guess what? You'll never be buying dry cells again. So again, I'll put the link below. But this is my setup for batteries. I love it. And uh, again, I use them all over the house. Anything that takes double A's. By the way, you can get triple A's of these too. So um, I, I, I just quit buying dry cells a long time ago. Uh, rechargeables are the way to go. Hope this video was helpful. Enjoy, and maybe we'll see you out there in uh, VR land.